If I was a student, I would be wondering, okay, Mrs. Snipes, what do you want from us? <laughs> what do you want from me with regard to Lewis structures? And I'm going to try to show you now. <laughs> How's that? This is the Lewis structure of ammonia. Ammonia has one nitrogen and three hydrogens. It is a molecular compound, no metals. And so this, somebody has drawn the Lewis structure of ammonia, and we're going to confirm that that's a good Lewis structure. Now one of the things I want you to be able to do is this. I want you to be able to say, given a Lewis structure, show, tell me how many electrons there are. So here we go. Well, I guess we can do it one of two ways. I'm going to do it with the formula first, okay? So given NH3, we need to find out how many valence electrons there are in those four atoms. So for nitrogen, this is how I usually do it. There's one nitrogen atom. You need a periodic table handy to see that nitrogen is what? A 5A? Oh, yep, let me double check. It's 5A, so there are five valence electrons there around that one nitrogen atom. Plus there are three hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen is 1A, and it only has one electron, and actually it is a valence electron. Okay, so our pot of valence electrons, sorry, this should have been hydrogen right here. Our pot of valence electrons is 5 plus 3, so 8. So we, that's, that's the pot that we should have. Now, the pot that we have, we actually now turn our attention to the structure itself. I said earlier that every time you see a bond, what, that's two electrons, right? Okay, two electrons and two electrons. Now, one of the things I didn't say yet, I mentioned it on, or it's written on a slide, but I didn't mention what it is, is this idea of a pair of electrons. You see those, I call them dot dots. You see those dot dots above nitrogen? Okay, that actually is a pair of electrons that are in what we call, or what we call um, lone pair electrons. And they always come in twos, okay, and we count them then as two electrons. Now, lone pair electrons, what do they do? Well, they actually give shape to the molecule, and they are important in other ways too. Okay, and actually I'm going to show you one of those ways coming up. So the bottom line, I guess we could say, could say structure. How many did you see? Well, I saw eight electrons. And the point here is that these two match. So the point from the formula, the electrons from the formula match those that you see on the structure. Um, okay, I want to say something about this right here. And hopefully this is going to kind of connect some dots. Remember we said that in a um, molecular compound like ammonia, um, all of the molecules, excuse me, all of the um, chemical bonds connecting the atoms, all of these chemical bonds are uh, what we call covalent bonds. Electrons are shared. So if electrons are shared, then that means, and let's pick on the nitrogen atom in the middle, if electrons are shared, then I'm going to go ahead, and I know my thing's getting messy, I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle around the nitrogen atom. Let me go ahead and clear my whole slide. I'm going to draw a circle around the nitrogen atom. Notice that the electrons here are shared, here are shared, and here are shared. How many were they? Well, there were two each. So as I draw my circle, do you guys buy this, that I have two, four, six, eight? I have eight electrons in my circle. That sharing of electrons has given that nitrogen atom eight, or what we call an octet and made that nitrogen atom very happy. Now in the case of hydrogen, hydrogen doesn't want an octet, it just wants a duet, so I could draw circles around the hydrogen atoms and they actually have a duet. Okay, so that check is right. Now if they've drawn the Lewis structure right, which all of these are drawn right, that check will be right, so there you go. The last question, um, I want you to kind of get a sense for how many pairs, I like being able to clear this whole slide, how many pairs 
of lone pair electrons are there and you would just say one. There's only one pair of lone pair electrons. Whew. All right, let's do the next one. And again, this is kind of what I'm after for you to be able to do on a test. So someone went ahead and drew this Lewis structure for us. Um, let's go ahead and use the formula to come up with the pot advance electrons. Um, this is how I usually do it. Hydrogen, okay, there are two hydrogen atoms. It brings, each of them bring one valence electron. Carbon, there is one carbon atom. It's 4A, so it must bring four, I find on the periodic table, so it must bring four valence electrons. And then there is one oxygen atom, and it's a 6A, so I'm going to write six valence electrons there. Um, yeah, equals two, equals four, equals six. Okay, so I got what, 12 electrons? Okay. So that was the pot of valence electrons that was brought to the table by those, what, two, three, four atoms. So let's go see if on our structure we have 12 electrons. So I'm going to put a check mark. Each time I put a check mark, that's two electrons. So we have two, four, oh, we got a double bond between the carbon and the oxygen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yep it matches. Matches structure, Lewis structure. So that's awesome. All right. Um, let's do the next check. The next check was to see if atoms, as they share electrons, do they have eight, an octet? In the case of hydrogen, do they have two electrons? So let's start drawing our circles. Let's start with carbon. I'm going to draw a circle around all of the electrons carbon gets to have a hand in. And if you look at the dashes, I have two, four, six, eight. I have eight electrons for the carbon. Now let's draw a circle around the oxygen for all of the electrons it has shares or has control over. 2, 4, 6, 8. It has 8, and of course the hydrogens were duets. So that's looking great. I hope it does. And then the last question is how many pairs of lone pair electrons? So we have 1, 2. So the answer there is 2. Okay, we'll do one more together and then I'll turn you loose for actually the hardest one. <laughs> Okay, so for this one, um, given this formula, what is the pot of valence electrons? Well, there are two carbon atoms and they're 4A, so they must both bring four valence electrons. And they're hydrogen, there are two hydrogen atoms, they're uh, 1A, and actually one valence electron, collectively two electrons. So we have a pot of 10 valence electrons. Let's see if it matches with our structure, and it's looking pretty good there. So here we go. I got two, and now this is a, what we call a triple bond right here. So it must have actually what? You think maybe six electrons? I do. So two, four, six, eight, ten. I got ten electrons. Okay, so our structure matches. Somebody did a good job. Yay! All right. So again, what I'm going to be after is for you to do this sort of thing. Um, do, do, does each element have a complete octet? Well, let's go ahead and take this left carbon and draw a circle around it. And to me, I got two, four, six, I got eight. It does have a complete octet. And then let's draw a circle around the other carbon, the right carbon. And I'm liking two, four, six, eight. So it has eight, and of course the hydrogens have a duet. So, yep. Then last but not least, uh, pairs of lone pair electrons. Hopefully you recognize that on this structure there are none, as it turns out. Okay. 
I'm ready to turn you loose. So you need to come up with the pot of valence electrons using the formula. What is that formula? Looks like C1, 2, 3, 4, 5. C5, H1, 2, 3, 4, 5. H5, N, 1, O1. Goodness. Okay, so what is the pot of valence electrons and does it match the structure? And then, um, don't worry about this one, but go ahead and answer this one. How many lone pairs of electrons are there?